In this video, we will discuss about how to simulate a conducting hearing loss in order to perform a tuning fork test. Now the subject air canal is occluded with a piece of cotton. The cotton is rolled and completely occluded the air canal in order to simulate the conductive hearing loss. The other ear, right ear is not occluded. So left ear is occluded, right ear is unoccluded. Let us perform the tuning fork test procedure. So first one is the Rinate test. The tuning fork is alternatively placed on the mastoid and in front of the ear canal. The subject indicates in the left ear, he perceived the sound louder in the mastoid process, which indicates that is a negative Rinne. Negative Rinne suggests the subject has conductive hearing loss in that side. Now let us see the same Rinne test on the other unoccluded side. So on the unoccluded side, the Rinne test reveals the subject hears the sound louder in front of the ear canal, which means air conduction is louder than bone conduction. So that side, the hearing should be either normal or having sensory neural hearing loss. The next procedure is the Weber test. So the tuning fork is stricken and kept in the midline. The sound is lateralized to the poorer side where the air conduction was less perceived. The air conduction was perceived much better on the right side. On left side, bone conduction was perceived much better. So based on air conduction hearing, the right ear has better hearing and the left ear has poorer hearing. Now in Weber test, the sound lateralized towards the poorer side. So the poorer side lateralization indicates that the lateralized ear has conductive hearing loss. So in this condition, the subject has either normal hearing or sensory neural hearing loss on the right side and a conductive hearing loss on the left side. So now Bing test is performed. Already the air canal was occluded with cotton. Okay, hence the additional occlusion which was created by occluding the air canal did not cause any change in the loudness perception. The subject indicates that the loudness was constant. There was no fluctuation in the loudness perception. So that indicates being negative. Being negative denotes the side has conductive hearing loss. Let us see the Bing test result on the unoccluded side. Now we are alternately occluding and unoccluding the ear canal. The subject is able to perform the fluctuations in the loudness perceived through bone conduction. That indicates Bing positive. Occlusion effect can be perceived or simulated. So that side will have normal hearing or sensory neural hearing loss. So this is how we can perform tuning fork test by simulating a conductive hearing loss.